right, so not quite on schedule, but Apple did just drop iOS 18.2 RC as we had hoped would have came a couple days ago, but it is here now. We will do a quick recap of some of the new functions here. And again, most of this does stem around Apple intelligence as we expect for .1, 2, 3, and possibly even uh, 18.4, just really depending on what Apple's gonna do here going forward. But we already did our recap on the full review of 18.2. It's live on the channel. Give that a look. Let's go ahead and jump right into this final build. Okay, so iOS 18.2 RC is finally here after a couple of days of a delay. But let's go ahead and do our quick temperature check. It has finished installing about five minutes ago. I wanted to give it a chance to settle down. And as you can see, we are not quite at 100 degrees for our temperature check around. So that is something at least good to see. Hopefully it'll remain that way going forward. Now jumping right into settings, general and about, you can see here 18.2 does have a final complete build number after a build, a build last week of 22C150. This, barring any other crazy unforeseen setback, should actually be the release going out to the public, hopefully still on the 9th, possibly the 10th, just depends on how many days in between the RC and public beta until the full release comes. In addition to this, one thing I do want to talk about is how much of a, uh, I guess, stress this has put on our new iPhone for battery health. So jumping actually into settings, into battery, a couple of call outs here. We are still having normal battery health after 83 cycles with 100% capacity. So even though it was heating up the phone quite a bit, even though Apple intelligence has definitely been uh, a hindering factor on battery and temperature, I am happy to say at least after 80 plus cycles, it is still at 100%. We'll see how that maintains, especially once we get to 18.3 and 18.4. Now, a couple of things we've already talked about. We've had our whole video, like I said, on our review of 18.2, but some of those new features, if you missed that, are obviously all around Apple intelligence features, such as Image Playground. And as you can see, even in this beta, you can select multiple options and it will generate an image based on what you select if you want to go with some of these options or describe an image as you please. That's obviously one of the bigger changes here. You also do have Genmoji. With Genmoji, if you go into hypothetically your keyboard and select the emoji icon, you have that new icon right here that almost looks like a rainbow smiley with a plus sign where you can explain something here. Let's just say, smiley face with money and it will start generating some images that you can select from and as you can see as you continue to scroll you can actually keep generating more and more and then right here there's a new three dot option where you can copy share save add caption or report a concern i don't believe that was present in the prior betas so that is nice to see having been added as well so if you pick one, every, whichever one you want, let's just go with this one. You can no longer just select it, or actually it looks like it did take. You can select it and then it will add to your actual emoji icons and write into your message. So beyond that, one of the other features that is specific to the 16 series is the new uh, actual visual intelligence here where you will long press on the camera button and you will put something in its viewfinder. This is just a peak design case and you can select search and it will do just what Google Lens does, find you what it thinks is in the image. And as you can see, it worked pretty well. Peak design is exactly what this is. It's a little slim wallet case, but I'm still indecided about this. I see the possibility here. It still seems somewhat limited where you cannot still scan storefronts and get consistent results. At least I haven't had that working regularly. If you guys have, drop a comment down below and let me know. Obviously, one of the other big inclusions here 
and I'll show you under settings first because this will only be expanded over time, but under Apple Intelligence and Siri, you now have chat GPT obviously, and you can obviously opt out of needing to confirm requests sent through GPT rather than just Siri. So when you ask it a question, how many miles is it from Orlando to West Palm Beach? It will give you your breakdown, but if it needs to utilize ChatGPT, it will actually says working with ChatGPT to get those results. What is Treasury Direct and how often can you make investments? So you see how right off the bat there, Siri didn't know and it says working with ChatGPT. That now lets you know it is utilizing ChatGPT to give you these needed results. Another change that is not specific to just Apple Intelligence available iPhones, but it is that new mail app where you can select all of your different uh, categories from, uh, from primary to all mail and each one in between for transactions, updates, and then promotions. So that is going to come to all iPhones in 18.2, not just ones compatible with Apple Intelligence, which is nice to see. If you missed our other video too, one issue we did have, and I'm still feeling it right now, anytime we utilized any Apple Intelligence features, it does get somewhat warm. You saw that temperature check we did at the beginning, and you can see after running a couple results, it is actually warmer than it was at that point in time. So just something to keep in mind. Hopefully this will improve over time, but the heat is definitely real with the betas and now the RC as well. I do want to say one feature that was allegedly going to be coming that we have not seen yet is going to be the smart battery charging time. And what I have is one of our little anchor power, power banks here. And allegedly where you see that do not disturb mark down here, you will get a time to full charge or in the pill up top, similar to what you see with an Android phone. Clearly, obviously that is not here yet. Could be an 18.3 feature though. We'll jump in and talk about 18.3 here shortly, but for now, like we were talking about, since this release has really been a weird one, it's a Thursday RC build. Hopefully we still get on Monday the public release. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be excited for that. And then hopefully the next day on the 10th, we should get the first beta for iOS 18.3, where we're expecting more Apple intelligence features and maybe that smart battery charging, that time to 100% that we were just talking about. Hopefully that will be present, obviously still yet to be seen, especially with how weird this cycle went. But aside from that, definitely next week, we will be receiving the public release of 18.2, the stability has definitely improved beta over beta, battery health and battery life is the only thing I'm very curious about in this RC. So barring any other setback or a re-release of the RC early next week and a full release at the end, this is really what we're looking at. Thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.